So we're in the control tower at London Croydon Airport. This was opened in 1928 as part of the new terminal. When it was opened, it was the world's biggest and most advanced air traffic control tower. There was nothing else like it in the world. And we can see what the equipment was like at the time. So custom built by Marconi using the new equipment and technology they had of the age. So we can see what they were using at the time. It's valve technology, very, very different to what we've got nowadays, but at the time this was really the latest, most powerful equipment. We can see a radio officer here who is using the equipment. So we've got over there is a, a goniometer. So that actually used to measure the radio bearings that we use for radio position fixing. Uh, and he's actually communicating with the aircraft. So his job, he was licensed to use radios and use Morse code to communicate with aircraft. So a very specific role for air traffic control. Working alongside him was the civil aviation traffic officer. So they were employed to actually manage the traffic. So they would be taking note of the aircraft, departing, arriving, making uh, notes of the position of the aircraft uh, in flight and plotting those on a map uh, and passing information important to those aircraft uh, throughout their flight as well. But that was all done via the radio officers. So what we see nowadays is that those two roles have been combined. So your modern air traffic controller will actually be using the radios and making the decisions on managing air traffic control and using uh, all the information they have to help that flight and help the pilots get the aircraft from departure to destination.